And for you folks at home, this is setting one for night vision, setting two night vision. This is setting one, two, three, four. See, now it's setting four through this camera, it's viewable. Setting five, setting six. And setting six is this max setting, and it's 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 bright, but it's just not 8.22 bright, which I will show you shortly. And here we have my 11.5 setup with an Aimpoint Comp M5, which is the successor to the T2 technically, and it does have an ARD, which is the anti-reflective device. But here we are at zero for you folks that are watching. Night vision one, night vision two. This is setting one, two, three, four, five. So setting five, six, seven. So setting seven on daytime. See how much more it blooms on there? Granted, consider that the ARD is on. Now let's do that again with the ARD off. You can see the blue notch filter that's on there. Setting one for night vision, setting two night vision. Setting one, two, three, four, five. Setting five is when the red dot starts to appear on the camera. Setting six, setting seven, setting. So setting seven is the brightness level that is maxed out on camera. Now again, the camera does not pick up as well as what the human eye actually sees. And here's my 13.9 setup with the Aimpoint T2. No ARD on this one. And we'll go ahead and get started here. Setting one, setting two, setting three, setting four, setting five, setting six, setting seven, setting eight. Setting eight is when it starts to appear on camera. But again, this is not representative of the human eye. Setting nine, setting 10, setting 11, setting 12. Yep, that's setting 12. You notice how much more this blooms uh, on the on the Aimpoint T2. That is particularly my preference. 